Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Crystal Reports, you can use the Format Editor dialog box or the Formatting Toolbar to apply various aesthetic enhancements to the selected objects within your reports. The basic technique used to apply formatting is simple. Select the Report Object or Objects to which you wish to apply formatting and then either use the buttons available in the Formatting Toolbar or the choices that are available through the Format Editor dialog box in order to apply your desired choice of formatting options. You can see the formatting toolbar and the various buttons that you can click to apply selected formats. Note that some of the buttons also have small drop-down arrows next to the buttons that you can click to choose many choices from a drop-down menu. For example, clicking the drop-down arrow next to the Font Color button displays a small palette of color choices from which you can select. Choosing a color from the palette sets that as the color that you will then apply in the future when you next click the Font Color button directly. Also, note that some of the buttons may appear grayed out when you have certain types of report objects selected. All that means is that the associated formatting of the button cannot be applied to the type of report object that you currently have selected. For example, if you select a text object within the report, the numeric formatting buttons will then appear grayed out, as you cannot apply numeric formatting to text objects. The formatting toolbar is designed to allow quick access to some of the most commonly used formatting options available for selected report objects. However, some specific types of formatting that you may want to apply can only be accessed through the Format Editor dialog box. Once again, you must first select the object or objects to which you want to apply the formatting first. Then either right-click the selected object or objects and choose the command that begins with the word format and then the object name, in this example, format text, or simply click the format command in the menu bar and select the topmost command in the drop-down menu that appears, which will also appear as format and then the object name. Either way, this will launch the Format Editor dialog box. In this dialog box, you can click through the tabs that are available at the top of the dialog box to view the formatting options which you can set on each tab. The tabs which appear will once again vary depending on the type of report object which you selected prior to invoking the Format Editor dialog box. So the options for a text field will not be the same as the options for a number field. Now in the next lessons in this chapter, you will examine the various tabs that may appear within the format editor and what options you can specify on each tab. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.